Several reports confirming a multi-car train derailment in Hill County surfaced on Friday afternoon. The wreckage spanning over a dozen cars reportedly happened shortly before 4.30 p.m. on Friday afternoon. The incident occurred just off the highway, roughly seven miles east of Haver. At this point in time, there are no reports of any injuries nor a suspected cause of the derailment. MTN News will continue to investigate the cause of the derailment and procedures for cleanup. We will update you as we get more information. There are reports of Native Americans being recruited from reservations all across the country, including here in Montana, to go to Arizona. They're placed in sober living homes to get help. However, as Diane Parker found, the homes aren't helping and in some cases are enhancing their addiction. A sober living home scam in Arizona has hit here in Montana, targeting tribal members, taking them from reservations to Phoenix with a promise of recovery and free housing. In reality, they're ending up on the streets under the influence with no way to get home. It's a crisis. It's um, my belief that it's endangering our race. It's a scam the likes of which Arizona has never seen. The financial impact totaling hundreds of millions of dollars. Jesse and Josh were able to call Arizona Access last week and they found various homes that were billing uh, for services on his behalf that Josh has said he did not receive. Laura McGee's brother Josh is one of the scam's many victims. She lives in Billings, her brother on the Blackfeet Reservation in Brownie. Or at least that's where he did live up until May when he moved to a sober living home in Phoenix to receive treatment for alcohol addiction care he never ended up receiving. My aunt had contacted me and said that this place was being shut down and he needed help getting home. We knew he was on the street. By that time, he was probably in four or five different homes. According to Arizona state officials, the scam works like this. Unlicensed sober living homes lured thousands of Native Americans to the state where they were provided free housing but no treatment. Those fake providers then allegedly billed for services not provided up to $1,300 per person per day, collecting millions in Medicaid payments from the state. Arizona is now shutting fraudulent homes down, leaving tribal members homeless and often high in an unfamiliar city as the fake homes allow drinking and drugs. You go to the parks and you ask, you know, where they were. They look defeated. I'm not going to lie. Reva Stewart is a volunteer with Stolen People, Stolen Benefits, a grassroots effort she helped start when her own cousin went missing from the Navajo Nation. One among some five to 8,000 Navajo members caught up in the scam. Reva spends much of her day roaming the streets of Phoenix, searching for now homeless victims. A lot of them have reached out to me. One guy said he was from North Dakota, and he goes, we are addicts but we were in a home that took advantage of us. Josh Racine says he ended up addicted to drugs, including fentanyl, after living in a home. He was missing for almost a month, eventually found on the streets. But he's one of the many victims stolen people, stolen benefits has helped find, along with at least 40 tribal members from the Blackfeet and Crow Reservations in Montana. A lot of the Montana natives that we picked up, they got in contact with Riva via Messenger, and they said, hey, we have five Montana relatives here. A crisis that now has the Blackfeet Nation on the verge of declaring a public health emergency. One tribe among many worried the total impact won't be known for months, perhaps years. In Billings, Diane Parker, MTN News.